check this out. You guys asked about the new Raptor R and here's a video specifically focused on the brand new refreshed 2024 Ford F-150 Raptor R. Yes, it's coming back for 2024 and beyond. Of course, we cannot, I cannot look into the future and tell you, you know, what's gonna happen two or three or four years from now, but at least right now, we still have an F-150 off-road truck with a big 5.2 liter supercharged Predator V8 under the hood and a very, very sophisticated and very fancy suspension system. In this video, I'm gonna show you not just one Raptor truck, I'm gonna show you three Ford Raptors because here at the show, this is 2023 Detroit Auto Show, North American International Auto Show. There is also the Bronco Raptor, the brand new one for 2024 and the 2024 Ranger Raptor. So they're expanding their Raptor lineup here in the United States. So let's dig in to what this truck is about. Of course, the chassis and the size of this truck is the same as before. Still really strong steel frame, aluminum body on the outside and refreshed styling up front. So they redesigned the headlamps. I was reading some of your comments already online and some of you guys love this and some of you guys not so much. So let me know in the comments below, are you a fan of the new headlamp and the new grill style? They kind of changed the way that FORD looks here on the, on the front of the truck. They also redesigned the bumper. I think this is super cool. And I think all of you are loving this. Uh, this they call this the modular bumper up front. Uh, why modular? Well, because you can add different accessories. For example, this truck doesn't show it, but you could put a bar here, a light bar, an additional light package on this truck without blocking the air much from coming into this truck and cooling that big gigantic engine. Um, by the way, the engine, we don't have the final power numbers yet. So right now for 23, it's 700 horsepower and 640 pound feet of torque, but they're still playing with the numbers for 2024 and they're gonna wanna kind of bump it up maybe, but also they have to comply with the latest emissions regulations. So we don't quite have the final numbers. Let's keep walking. By the way, oh, the tow hooks are redesigned as well. So they're now a little bit more squared off. They're still painted cold orange on the Raptor R and it's still on 37s, but the Raptor R also gets a new designed beadlock wheel. Take a look at this. I can, <laughs> this is kind of overlapping design right here. And I think it looks awesome. So I'm really just seeing it in person, this beadlock capable wheel with the latest design kind of overlapping on top of each other. It's very special. So when you get a Raptor R, you get, of course, the new styling, you get the new modular front bumper, you get the new wheels, but then Zach, take a look at this. You get new shocks. So every truck for 2024, that's a Raptor, either Raptor on 37s with a V6 or a Raptor R, you get the new Fox dual valve, live valve shock system, which means used to have one valve that was controllable in real time, now has two valves. So what does it mean? So it used to be compression live adjustment and now also the rebound live adjustment. I, I, we haven't driven this truck yet, so I can't tell you, nobody outside of Ford has driven this yet. So I can't really tell you exactly how it drives but it's supposed to be just be more planted at high speeds and you could adjust how the truck works. And Ford uh, team was telling me that they have their own algorithms. So of course they worked with Fox on these um, suspension package, but Ford engineers came up with their own algorithms about how to control these shocks specifically for this truck on 37s. So if you're buying a base Raptor with a V6, on 35s, you won't get these shocks. You get, you'll get the basic, I'm sorry, not basic, still pretty fancy, 3.1 live valve shocks. Let's take a look here in the back. Come on, open. This is a pre-production truck. It has a couple of changes here. So first of all, all F-150s for 2024 have been redesigned and they have little changes 
like in the interior bed structure. So little indents here, 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 here. So they changed a little bit about how this bed is designed. And the Ford team was telling me it's so you could create your own storage solutions. You know, if you want to build something yourself, you have additional little indents to build a storage solution of your own, maybe boxes, anything. Um, if you walk around here, it has a new storage compartment as the other F-150 trucks. So right there, a little, little tiny, tiny cubby. Um, it doesn't, won't carry a lot of weight, but still, if you have, I don't know, a toe strap, some gloves or something else, you could hide it away in there. You still have the tailgate step, but you, won't, you don't get the fancy new Pro Access tailgate. All right, so if you help it up, it will close. Uh, the other F-150 trucks uh, have a little swing out. Uh, the Raptor doesn't get that. Because I asked why, and they said because the Raptor is more focused on off-roading rather than towing, even though it still tows 8,700 pounds. Tail lamps are new, so all F-150s have new tail lamps. And you can see here the part of radar system for blind spot monitoring. By the way, 2024 F-150s now have not just blind spot monitoring in the standard sense, but also a blind spot monitoring when the truck is stationary. And you might have a bicyclist going down the street when you park parallel or another vehicle moving down. And the truck will warn you, will give you an alert if there's some motion on the side of your truck while you're parked. So that's a new feature for F-150 as well, which I think is pretty nice. So this is at the show, so we, I want to show you the interior. Um, so we talked about engines, pricing, right? Let's talk about price. They announced the price. So the regular Raptor starts at around 78-ish. Uh, don't quote me on this, but the online configurator is live. You could build your own versions. Uh, there's a couple of new colors. For example, Shelter Green is a new color for 2024. Uh, and then the Raptor R is about a $31,500 option. Let me jump in here. On top, yes. Let me jump in. So the interior largely is the same. Zach, is there a V8 sign here? There was in the one we looked at. So there's a V8. There's a V8 here. Hold on, let me. Let me take that and show that. So there's a kind of a cool V8 ghosted into the center console. Um, the seats are also updated. The seats are updated and they're very comfy. They're both supportive and fairly soft. And I, I really like that because, I mean, you're going on rough terrain, you're bouncing around, you don't want to be kind of jostled out sideways, but you still want some cushion. And I think these seats are really, really great. Uh, also heads up display. So I don't know if you could see that up there, but there's the opening for the heads up display. So you have all the new information. Uh, Ford said that technology, of course, is very important as well. So they added more different screen options. So the driver can focus on going fast off road using the heads-up display or the new gauge cluster, of course, as well. All F-150s for 2024 get a 12-inch digital display and a 12-inch infotainment screen. So finishing the pricing conversation, I said the Raptor R is about $31,500. And that makes it about 111000 after destination charges. So actually, the previous 2023 model was about 110 starting. This one starts at about 111.5, so they did not increase their overall sticker price by that much. Uh, it's still kind of within where it was. They did increase prices across the board, and um, and I'm sure I heard this already. There might there will be markups on these trucks, but we can I can't control that. All right, let's move forward because. Um, I also want to show you the, the latest 2024 Bronco Raptor. Yeah, show us what's behind the curtain. Yes, behind the curtain. So this is cool. So first of all, 
Uh, this is a new package for 24 uh, on the Bronco Raptor. Uh, very special for this year is body painted, body color painted fenders. So before, many of you made comments that you guys didn't like the blacked out fenders, but now Ford has painted them for this code orange package. Code orange package also gives you graphics that go all the way up the window. You get code orange beadlock. This is still a beadlock capable wheel and shelter green. So this color shelter green is one of the signature colors for the 2024 model year. And you also get a little bit different graphics here on the hood as well. It still has the bulge. It still has ventilation. It still says Raptor. It's still as wide as an F-150 Raptor. Just look at it from the front. It's humongous. Um, and yeah, this is a 2024 model. And this one is powered by a three liter twin turbo, very specially designed V6 engine. So no longer the 3.5 or the 5.2 liter that's in the F-150 Raptor, but it's still in the family. It's still very special. It's still wide, it still has crazy suspension, uh, but it doesn't have dual valves, at least not yet. It has the base. Let me see if we can see the shock. So this, yeah, we can see it over here. You see there's one valve, one valve here instead of two. Still remote reservoir, still very, very special and live adjustable. So let's walk over here because I promised you a Ranger Raptor as well. Oh boy, there's like a million people over there. Let's walk this way. So stay tuned to alttfl.com. I'm actually wearing that shirt underneath. Keep going uh, because Zach and I are here at the Detroit Auto Show for 2023 and we'll bring you many, many more videos from the show. So if you go to oldtfl.com, it's one place where you can find off-road videos like this, truck videos, comparisons, car videos, all in one place. All right, let's keep walking a little bit more. Aha, uh -huh, here it is. So this is the Ranger Raptor I wanted to show you. So, if the Raptor R F-150 is kind of a large lineman in football, right? Big and strong and fast. This is more of a kind of a smaller running back. Does that make sense? Am I, is my football analogy working? But basically what this is, is a more nimble, smaller package, but still super capable. So we haven't driven this yet. Nobody outside of Ford, as far as journalists have driven it yet other than people overseas. So this truck came out overseas, Australia, Europe, some other markets, but here in the US, uh, us North American guys and gals, we haven't driven it yet. So the whole story here is, is that it basically has the running gear from the Bronco Raptor. So we have a three liter twin turbo V6, but we don't have huge tires. While the Raptor R and the Bronco Raptor have 37s, Look at this, this is a 33. So in this case, but it's a very special Zach. Uh, look at this. You know, we've had KO2 tires for what seems like a decade or maybe several decades. This is a new KO3 tire. It makes its debut here on the Ranger Raptor. It has little KO3 imprinted like everywhere between all these uh, lugs. It looks kind of smooth yet capable with a big sidewall, um, and of course, traditional BFG uh, treads. And it says it's a Baja Champion tire. So it's a 285-70R17, which makes it pretty much a 33, maybe a tiny bit smaller. Right there, sorry, for, there it is, it's in focus. So it has a coil sprung rear axle, so, solid rear axle. So it still has the bones of being a very, very nimble, fast, quick off-road machine. It will start at 55,365 bucks. So while the F-150 Raptor V6 starts at around high 70s, maybe 80,000, this will start at 55. 
Of course, Bronco Raptor starts in the $80,000 range as well, maybe a little bit less. Let me show you the interior and we can close this video. So you can see the theme, right? Code orange accents, really chunky steering wheel, a really nice and supportive seats, center display that's vertical in this case, digital displays, and a lot of horsepower still, over 400 horsepower. In the midsize pickup, yeah, it's really, really cool. You could hear a train above us, so I apologize for that. <laughs> so there you have it. Uh, this is the Raptor, the latest Raptor lineup, and all you could see it all here at Detroit 2023. Uh, thank you for joining me. Go to OTFL.com to see, like I said, everything, all the coverage in one place. By the way, the Ranger Raptor does not have amber lights because it doesn't technically need them because it's not over 80 inches wide, but it's a Raptor without amber lights in the grill. My brain has just exploded. All right, let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Thanks guys.